Hello guys, Sanjay here and welcome back to a new video in which we are going to talk about the Redmi Note 3 and especially we are going to talk about MIUI 9 and how to install MIUI 9 on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3. If you have the Redmi Note 3 and if you have not subscribed to this channel yet then I don't know what more should I do to make you subscribe. So subscribe to the channel immediately because many more awesome videos on the Redmi Note 3 keep on coming and are going to come soon on the channel too. So do subscribe to the channel. Now let's get back to the MIUI 9. I recently installed Android Oreo on the Redmi Note 3 and I played around with some TWRP settings and some other thing because of which the device reboots itself into TWRP recovery and my mom needs her Redmi Note 3 because this is her primary device so I thought let's install MIUI 9. Now there are two versions of MIUI 9. One which is official MIUI 9 which is not yet launched officially but it's leaked so it's official MIUI 9 which is based on Android Marshmallow. Second version is developed by developers based on Android 7.0 which is ported ROM from other devices which can be flashed on the Redmi Note 3. So both the ROMs are going to be stable. First one is official MIUI 9 ROM so you can expect that ROM to work flawlessly. Second ROM also has very few bugs or I can say one or two bugs about which we'll talk when we install this ROM or when we boot into the system. So we have booted into the TWRP recovery and if you do not know how to boot into TWRP recovery then switch off your device and then hold the volume up button and power buttons together the device will boot into the TWRP menu like this. You need to have unlock bootloader for this. Now I'm going to install a new recovery on the Redmi Note 3 which supports OT updates on MIUI 9, MIUI 8. So if you have MIUI 8 with TWRP recovery, you can install the TWRP recovery which I'm going to show you right now. So go into install, select install image over here, scroll down and select the Red Wolf version image and select recovery and select swipe to confirm flash. This will flash the Red Wolf TWRP recovery image on the Redmi Note 3 and this recovery is specially made for uh, 3GB version of Redmi Note 3. It does not work on 2GB version. It does not work on the 2GB RAM version. But there is another TWRP recovery known as ZCX TWRP recovery which you can install on your device which also supports MIUI OTA updates. But that does not really matter much if you can download the complete ROM and flash it on your device. Now let's talk about one more thing. There are multiple developers who have ported MIUI 9 with Android 7.0 for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 which is an awesome thing by the way. I'm going to install Epic ROM which will be linked in the description box below. But there are many other developers who have developed MIUI 9 based on Android 7.02 which will be linked in the description box below. Select never show this again and select swipe to allow modification. So the Red Wolf TWRP recovery has theme to it and it is different as compared to what we have normally. So let's go back. No, I do not want to do this. First of all, go into wipe and select swipe to factory reset over here. Once the wipe is done, go back, go back, go back. Now go into install and select the Epic MIUI version 9 ROM and select swipe to install. If you want to install the official MIUI 9 which is based on Android Marshmallow just because you prefer Xiaomi's MIUI 9 then that will be linked in the description box below. Instead of selecting Epic ROM as I did right now, select the official MIUI 9 ROM and select swipe to confirm flash over here. Once the flashing procedure is completed, you just have to reboot into the system and after that it's pretty much same. If you flash the official MIUI 9 version, you will have to flash lazy flashes zip file 2 which I'll show you once this flashing procedure completes. So the ROM is installed, now go back and if you are installing the official version, select lazy flashes zip file which will be linked in the description box below too and select swipe to install over here. This will make sure that your device boots into the system and does not get stuck into the boot loop and does not get stuck in boot loop. Now select reboot system over here. Now the device should boot into the MIUI 9 which will be based on Android 7.0 because I have selected the Epic ROM which is based on Android 7.0. So we have booted into the MIUI 9 ROM which says lightning fast. The brightness is very high. I know that but I can't really reduce that right now. Uh, Wi-Fi is working as you can see. Let me just connect to my Wi-Fi. So as you can see it has connected to my Wi-Fi which is uh, Xiaomi's MI router. Uh, no SIM card is in the phone right now but I'll insert that too. Let's skip it. Uh, add your fingerprint. So let's add a fingerprint pattern. I'm going to use my fingerprint over here to add fingerprint. Okay, we have added it successfully done. This ROM is not going to support OT updates but if you install the official version of MIUI 9 then it will support OT updates and if you install the Red Wolf TWRP recovery then you can install the OT updates through TWRP recovery too. Now setup is complete. Let's 
click over here and it will get in it will bring us to MIUI 9 ROM that's awesome uh, so let me just reduce the brightness a little bit auto brightness is on I guess yeah it's on I guess this much is enough okay yeah uh, so we do have play store over here that's a nice thing uh, we have add away over here which I do not like snap tube is also over here which I will not recommend you guys to use I cannot show that in the video at least because it's not allowed now let's go into my device Android version where is all specs MIUI version is MIUI 9 by epic team and Android version is 7.0 on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 yes you are you heard me right if you install the official MIUI 9 then it will be based on Android Marshmallow and not Android Nougat I do not know why Xiaomi is not releasing Android Nougat for Redmi Note 3 this device is more than capable to run Android N O P LMNOP, QRST, whatever you have because Snapdragon 650 is more powerful as compared to Snapdragon 625 in the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4. But still Xiaomi is not giving Android Nougat update to the Redmi Note 3 as of now. I do not know why, what's the problem with this. Let's see if split screen mode works on this device. So select settings application over here, select play store. Yes, split screen is working right now, super fine. Let's install Geo SIM card and let's see if uh, VOLT is working on the ROM. I have my Geo SIM card in the Redmi Note 4 which I'll have to remove, which I'll remove very quickly. So I have inserted my Geo SIM card in the, okay, let's test the fingerprint sensor then. Okay, will it get unlocked? Okay, it does get unlocked. Okay. So there is tiny bit of delay in the fingerprint sensor but that's totally fine as this ROM is based on Android 7.0. This ROM is not developed officially by Xiaomi so, so do expect minor bugs on the ROM. And as you can see VOLT sign is present over here that means VOLT is working or it should be working. Let's call 1900. So, okay I don't care about that. So VOLT is working on this ROM too. So that's an awesome thing. Now let's go into camera. Allow. Okay. Camera. It's, it's not starting. Okay. Okay. It's, it's start. It was starting. Okay. So if I click a picture, the picture is getting clicked. That's nice. Let's switch to front facing camera. Okay. Are you going to switch? It seems that there are minor issues with the camera application. Okay, so we can click picture with this one, but right now you cannot record videos with the stock camera application which is present in the MIUI 9, but you can use MX camera application which will be linked in the description box below to record videos. There is a recording video bug in the MIUI 9 ROM right now, which will be fixed in future software updates. So do check the exterior thread which will be linked in the description box below to find out what are the bugs in the current ROM. If you're watching this video after one month then all those bugs will be fixed. So do check the XDA thread which will be linked in the description box below to come to know about all the bugs which are present in the ROM. So yeah, this is pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. And let's see if we can reach 3000 likes on this video. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Just click on my face right now and get subscribed because I did not sell my Redmi Note 3 so that I can continue making videos on the Redmi Note 3. So if you appreciate that then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching. So yeah, thank you guys, thank you for watching.